Hello everyone, it's Rob here. Just with a very quick message before your video starts, I just wanted to remind you that the Draw With Rob activity book is out now. You can get it right now. And if you like these videos, I think you'll really like this book. It's full of lots of the draw alongs of your favorite characters um, and then loads of other stuff like puzzles, um, coloring pages. There's bits where I've started a drawing off and you need to finish it. There's even um, a nice certificate for you at the end if you complete all the activities in this book um, and you can fill in. There's a page which you have to write all about yourself, your favorite things and draw a self portrait, that kind of thing. So I think you'll really like it. Okay, that's enough for me. You need to watch your video. Here it is, your Draw With Rob video. Have fun. Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Draw With Rob. With me, Rob Bidoff. I'm the one on the left. Just in case you were wondering, that's a picture of me in the new Draw With Rob activity book. Now I am a children's author and illustrator. You might know me from books like this one, Odd Dog Out. There's the Odd Dog Out, there she is. She doesn't fit in with all the other dogs in the place that she lives. So she goes somewhere to try and find a place that she does fit in. I'm not going to tell you what happens in the end. You have to read it to find out, but it's a good story. Maybe you've seen this one. It's called Show and Tell. And it's all about a class full of children who bring in lots of really amazing things for show and tell. They all try and outdo each other. That's a fun story too. But as per usual, we are here today to draw a picture together. And I get lots of requests. Lots of you um, ask me to draw various things online when you are posting pictures of your Draw With Rob drawings, you say, oh, by the way, next week, can we do this or can we do that? And one of the most popular requests that I've had over the months is for a dragon. So I thought that's what we would do today. A fun cartoon dragon. Does that sound like a good plan? Please say yes, because that's what we're doing. <laughs> right then. Okay. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need a pen or a pencil or something to draw with, anything to draw with and a piece of paper. You might want to have some something to colour with a bit later on, but you don't need that. That's all you need, really. And maybe this will take, this one, it's a little bit of a complicated one, a little bit complicated. So this one might take half an hour or so, maybe a little bit longer, who knows. But you know what? It's the summer holidays. You've got a bit of time on your hands, haven't you? Right, shall we start then? Okay, we are going to start right at the bottom of our piece of paper today. And we are going to draw in the middle, at the bottom, quite a simple U shape. Like that, sort of a, quite a tall, thin U shape actually, this one. About that sort of size, actually. I'm going to make it very slightly taller. There we go. Okay, the next thing to do is we're going to put our pen at the top left hand side of our U. We're going to come out and we're just going to start heading on up the page, probably to about there. So my pen's running out a little bit, doesn't it? Just have to re go over that little bit of line, no problem. Okay, the next thing to do, we are gonna come out in a straight line about that far. I don't know if you can hear these strange noises behind me, but I've got a sleeping Ringo in the studio with me today, and he seems to be snoring or something. He's breathing very loudly. So I'm sorry if that's disturbing you. You're right, Ringo. Ringo. Oh, I can't wake him up, he's fast asleep. Maybe I should just, they say, let sleeping dogs lie, don't they? That's what I'll do. Right, where were we? Yes, that's right, we're here. Okay, so the next thing to do is, we are going to curve upwards and just head a little way up our page to about there, okay? I wonder if you're starting to see our dragon take shape. Now, those of you who have done lots of these draw along videos with me, um, you might have noticed that we started this in a very similar way to the way that we started the very first Draw With Rob video, which was Gregosaurus. Uh, and also it's very similar to another Dinosaur Junior character that we've drawn, Nancy, which I think was video number eight. And she was a Spinosaurus. Well, you know, dragons and dinosaurs, there is, there is certain crossover, I would say, certainly when it comes to drawing them, at least. Right. Okay, the next thing to do is, right, at the top of this line, what I want you to do, I want you to come around and just stop like that. So we're doing a sort of lowercase n shape there. 
little curl. And then next to that, we're gonna draw another one exactly the same size, like that. It's quite easy though, this so far, isn't it? Pretty easy one. Okay, the next one, we're gonna draw a straight line and we're gonna go along and we're gonna stop sort of roughly level with that corner that we took back there. Next, let's head upwards again. Not too far, probably to about there. So maybe a centimetre, a centimetre and a half, something like that. And then we're gonna go this way to about there. So again, I always try and use other bits of my drawing to sort of measure where I am on the page. So I've just gone a little way past that place where we started with that U shape at the bottom. Then we're gonna curl around again and we're gonna head right back down towards where we started. But we're gonna stop before we get there. About there. My line's got a little kink in it, so I'm just gonna try and correct that like this. I think I've told you this before, when you're drawing with a fairly thick line, it's quite easy to correct little mistakes that you make as you go by just sort of adding bits and pieces to the line. It's quite a nice way to draw, I think. Okay, the next thing to do, we are gonna curve around and we're gonna head off this way. Maybe I'm just trying to see, I'm gonna go a little bit further. Let's go to about there. Then we're gonna change our mind. We're gonna do a U-turn and we're gonna head back to where we started. There we go. And you can start to really see our dragon taking shape now, can't you? This bit that we've just drawn, of course, is the tail. This bit up here is the nose, the snout, and these are little nostrils. So you can already see the character of our dinosaur starting to appear. I always think it's very exciting when you can see the character coming to life on the page in front of your very eyes. Okay, let's add another leg, shall we? So next to that very first U shape that we did, we're gonna draw another one. Right next to it, pretty much the same size. But because this line is going over the top of it, it makes it look like it's in the distance a little bit more. So it makes it look like the far leg. Okay, and while we're down here, let's give our dinosaur a little arm, shall we? We're gonna do another one of those U shapes. Round about there, so slightly le uh, right of center of our dragon's tummy. I've got a feeling I'm accidentally gonna say dinosaur instead of dragons at some points in this video. So <laughs> I'm apologizing in advance if I do that or if I've already done it, I don't know. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna grab my slightly thinner pen and we're gonna add a few little claws here and there. We're gonna add just a little line there and then three others there for some little claws. Let's give our dinosaur three little claws on each leg like that like little toes aren't they okay let's head up to our dinosaur's face now now we're going to do a mouth i think our dinosaur is going to be a very happy kind of see i just did it i literally just said i was going to do it and i just did it dinosaur oh dear oh dear our dragon is going to be a very friendly smiley sort of dragon so we're going to draw a great big smiley mouth this is how we do it about here, so about half a centimetre below that area there, we are gonna draw pretty much straight line coming all the way across. It's gonna go all the way past that bit to about there. Okay, so to about halfway across his body. Then you're gonna turn around like that and we're gonna head back across here. Again, pretty much a straight line join up the side look and there we go a lovely big smiley mouth can you see i haven't just done a curved end like that i've done it so that the curve is slightly going upwards just to make him or her look slightly smilier let's get my thinner pen for this bit this is my my favorite bit of the drawing we're gonna do the teeth teeth are very easy we're just gonna do some zigzags all the way along this big smiley mouth just like that there we go look at those lovely teeth our dragon surely brushes twice a day don't you think it looks like he does okay let's give him a couple of nostrils we're just gonna do two 
little circles in the middle of those two little humps. Oh, Ringo, guess what? He's woken up and now he wants to go out. I'm just gonna let him out. Sorry, everybody. Go on then, mate. Go on then, off you go, good boy. I'll see you later. Bye. He's gone, he's gone. Snoring one minute, desperate to go outside the next. Right, oh, my chair's very creaky, sorry about that. Right, okay, let's give him some ice. We wake our dragon up. Right, we're going to do a little circle there for one eye. Do you know what? I'm gonna do two eyes next to each other, right next to each other here, like that. Two little dragony eyes and let's do two little pupils I'm going to do my little trick where the pupils are slightly off center slightly to the right which is going to make hopefully he's going to make our dragon look like he's looking straight at us there we go oh, oh I like him isn't it amazing a few little marks on a page and you can get such personality into your pictures can't you he looks fun this guy I like him a lot Right, remember if you want somebody to look extra smiley, what do you do? Can you remember my little my little tip? Eyebrows, I heard some of you saying eyebrows. That's right, we're gonna add the eyebrows up there, way above his eyes. Extra smileyness, brilliant, love it. Okie dokie. Go back to this pen now, I keep switching pens, don't I? We're gonna give our, our dragon, I nearly said dinosaur. We're gonna give our dragon some ears. So this is how we do the ears. On the curved bit of his head here, we are just gonna draw two little lines, like that, quite next, quite close to each other. Then we're gonna draw like a great big leaf shape on top of those lines. So one there, one there, and they're gonna meet in the middle in a nice point. And that's gonna be one of our dragon's ears. Now we need to do the same on this side. Mirror image, obviously. Two little lines, then our big leaf shape. Just like that, coming to a nice point. There we go. Dragon ears. For the inside bit, we're gonna do another leaf shape. We're gonna follow the curve like that. And then I'm just not gonna do it right from the end. I'm just gonna go slightly inside that last line. And it just makes it look like there's a little bit of a fold in his ear, you see. We'll do the same here, coming down around. There we go. Now dragons, they don't just have ears, they have these little horns as well. So we're gonna do two sort of triangular shapes. Maybe with a slightly rounded end. One there. And one there. And then we're just gonna add a few very thin diagonal lines going up each horn. There we go. Two little dragon horns. Now then, the other thing that dragons have is wings. They have little wings, don't they? So we're gonna add a little dragon wing to his back. And this is how we're gonna do the dragon wing. First thing to do is a diagonal line coming out about halfway up his back, just to about there. He's only got small wings, this dragon, I think. So a little diagonal line coming up. Then we are gonna turn a corner and we're gonna start heading back down towards the tail like that then we're going to turn around and we're going to make it a very sort of thin shape like that again we're going to follow along and about here we're going to go down again a little bit shorter we're going to draw one of those thin sausage shapes again then we're going to go along again about the same distance we're going to do another sausage shape but again this time a little bit shorter still and then finally, we're gonna join back up, like that. Doesn't look much like a wing at the moment, but watch this, this will make it very wing-like. We're just gonna draw curved lines in between each of these little sausages. And then the last one, we're gonna curve around and join up to his back. And look, there you go, a little dragon wing. Okay, what next? Let's give him a little tummy. They have this sort of funny texture, dragons. I'm talking about dragons as if they're real creatures. Maybe they are real creatures. I just have never seen one personally, but they might well be real creatures. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, they have these little tummies. So we're just gonna draw, they just sort of a rounded rectangle shape there on the tummy. And across that, we're just gonna add some horizontal lines. 
like that. There we go. A little tummy patch. And then we need to give him some spines, some sort of plates, a bit like a bit like um, dinosaur plates on, on Gregosaurus. We, he had sort of hexagonal or pen, were they hexagonal? Oh, one, two, three, four, maybe pen, is that, what's five-sided shape? Is that pen, is that pent? I can't remember, is that pentagon? Anyway, he had <laughs> five-sided shaped plates going down his back, but our dragon friend here has got triangular ones. So we're just gonna add Let's add three little triangular ones above the wing. And we'll add a few more. We're gonna go all the way down his back and they're gonna get gradually smaller. They're gonna go round and along his tail too. Like that, getting gradually smaller towards the end. There we go. Lovely, lovely dragon spine, spiky, spiny things. I don't know what they're called. Okay, now. I tell you what, I was going to add some little scaly texture, but you know what, I think I'm going to do that when I colour my dinosaur in. So after I've gone away and done my super speedy zoomy colouring in, we'll have another little chat and I'll tell you about the texture thing, okay? That's probably the best way to do it. So, I think we're pretty much done with our outline now of our dragon. Should we go off and colour it in? What do you think? Now. Dragons. As I said, I've never personally seen a dragon in real life, so I don't know what colour they are. Maybe you have seen one, I don't know. But, I tell you what, I think the rules are there are no rules. You can colour your dragon in any colour you like. Pink, green, red, blue, brown with purple spots, yellow, I don't know, anything you like, you can colour your dragon in. I'm going to stick to what I think is the more, more traditional dragon colours. I'm going to stick to green, I think. Maybe with a little bit little bit of pink here and there. But you can do anything you like, okay? The more colourful, the better. Maybe the stripes here could be rainbow stripes. I don't know. Maybe there could be lots of stars and spots on all of these spines. Whatever you want is totally and utterly up to you. I'm going to see you back here in 30 seconds or so after I do my super speedy colouring in. So grab something to colour with. If you haven't got any coloured pencils, just use your regular pencil and just do some shading. That would be good. And I'll see you back here in a minute or two. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. So, there we go, there is my finished coloured in dragon. Now then, a couple of things to tell you about. So do you remember I, I mentioned that texture on the, the skin, because obviously dragons have very scaly skin, so a very easy way to do that is just take a slightly darker colour or a darker pencil than the, than the, than the one that you've, you've used to colour in the body, and you just add lots of little U shapes sort of next to each other, and they sort of tessellate a bit like sort of bricks so you do some like that and then you do some that are sort of shifted along a bit and then you keep doing that and you repeat it and it's a very simple way of adding a slight sort of scaly texture to your drawing you don't have to color the whole body with it you can see I've just done it just in the areas where that are slightly darker maybe in fact you know what I'm just gonna grab my dark green I'm gonna do a few more here so you'll see what I mean oh it's not darkest green where's my lovely dark green I think it's that one so what you do you just sort of do Little U shapes, can you see? Just sort of little U shapes, I forgot to do them on this leg, so there we go. Like that, just quite pale. And just add a little suggestion of scaly texture, and it works really, really well, and it makes it look like your whole dragon is covered in this scaly texture. Now then, the other thing that I've done, I've added a bit of shadow, you know, my favorite little effect there to make it look like your character's standing on a surface, you just add a little bit of scribble either side of the feet. I'm just going to add 
the feet back in because I sort of coloured over the top of them a little bit there. And you just sort of start dark right next to the feet and then you sort of fade out to light either way and it makes it look like shadow. And then because this is a dragon, they breathe fire people, just in case you'd forgotten. I've added a little bit of smoke coming out of each nostril there, just with a grey pencil, just sort of scribbling, scribbling very lightly and then getting again getting a bit darker the closer to the nostril that you get. And that adds a nice smoky texture. So there we go. All that remains for me to do here is to sign my drawing. So I'll do that down here. Rob, don't forget to sign your works of art. I can't wait to see your drawings this week. I've got a good feeling about this one. I think you're going to send me lots and lots of multicolored dragons in all sorts of different colors or, or you know an entire spectrum of dragons i really really can't wait to see it so what you need to do is take a picture of your picture or get your grown-up to take a picture of your picture and then you can post it on social media using this hashtag here draw with rob um, you can use that on facebook and instagram and twitter in facebook you can just post a picture in the comments below this post and i will get to see it that way um, and yes, there we go. What do you think? I really like this one. I really, really enjoyed it. Now then, I'm going to be back. Let's start again. I'm going to be back very soon with another episode of Draw With Rob. Until then, I want you to take care of yourselves, okay? You promise? You're going to do that. Jolly good. All right, everybody. I'll see you soon, gang. Take care. Bye-bye.